Hey YouTube, this is Bubblenuts1 here, and I'm here to do Fast and Furious 7 movie review. Um, so this movie has um, the team suffer from the aftermath of what they did in London with the Fast, in Fast, Fast and Furious 6. Um, now I have watched that movie, haven't d done a review of it, but I have watched that, watched that movie. Um, and this movie is much the same as, um, the whole eight movies combined. Um, I don't think there is anything particularly new here, but, um, it, there was some, a really, really nice payoff for Paul Walker. Um, there was just some really cool moments with, with the stunt works and the and some of the scenes that were shot. Um, I thought the locations were good. Um, the ladies were uh, pretty good too. And yeah, this movie was just a really, really fun film. So we basically have the aftermath of London and it's revealed that um, the brother of the main villain from the last movie um basically hunting down um the team and Vin Diesel's character basically has to go after um this man um whilst also trying to um get a get a hacker a female hacker to basically um, hack into the this god system thing which basically can track it, any person down using social media and um, satellite capabilities and that kind of stuff. Um, Again, it's a very run-of-the-mill type story, but it, but it is still a very compelling one. Um, I, I really, really enjoyed this movie. Um, it's not the best movie I've, I've watched, um, I, I've ever watched, but this movie was definitely a very, very fun film. And I think um, the way they treated Paul Walker's death, um, at the end and where they left off that character was really really good and I love the amount of respect that the movie gives to that actor who has been with this franchise um, for a very very long time and has been one of the more one of the best aspects to this film um, the stunt work. The stunt work was absolutely fantastic. Um, I did feel though that the explosions and the explosions and the, um, some of the action was really jarring. Um, but it's nowhere near as bad as a Michael Bay film, which is just crazy and out of control and it's really hard to follow. Um, whilst this movie does have a lot of explosions, it's not done quite the same way as the Michael Bay films. Um, the, 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 yes, the explosions are there, but there is also an, that there is also very, that there's also a better story here than what you would find in a Michael Bay film. So if you are going into this um, film with the mindset, oh, it's just got too many explosions, the Transformers franchise has had loads of explosions. And one of their movies last year m managed to get, you know, to the million, to the billion dollar club. So guys, explosions and Explosions are pretty much the main thing, um, but you 
do have a better story being told here. Um, so there's that. Um, I also think this film... There's this one scene um, that takes place in Abu Dhabi, where I used to live. Um, Abu Dhabi's changed now since, since I used to live there, but I used to live in Abu Dhabi. And it was really, really cool seeing that, um, seeing my old home again. Um, and it was really, really cool, um, with the scenes that they, that they shot. Um, you know, there's a scene, there's this one scene with the car, um, and the way it's done was really, really good. It's very close to, um, the Mission Impossible um, Ghost Protocol scene. That's what it reminded me of, and it, it's the same type of scene, um, just done with a car, and it was just it was just really really good, um, and yeah, just this film is very very worth seeing, um, and the acting is great um, for the most part. Um, for guys, there's attractive women um, to watch. Um, certainly watching Michelle Rodriguez um, and the British chick um, from Game of Thrones, who plays Daenerys' right-hand woman, um, was really, really nice to uh, look at. But yeah, just... Just some great little movies. Um, just a great little fun movie, and um, very much pulled me into the summer blockbuster. Um, now the next film I will be watching is, of course, Age of Ultron. Um, I will be doing two um versions of this movie. Um, one as a non-spoiler, and one as a spoiler. Um, and I might possibly be watching this movie twice. Um, but it will be Age of Ultron. Um, and the reason why I'm going to be watching it, um, doing two reviews, is because I will probably do a review on the day I see the actual movie. Um, just to give you guys a rough idea about what the movie's like. Um, but I will probably go do an in-depth, like, um, a spoiler review, just talking about, um, what happened in the movie and, um, why it's good or not good, um, as might be the case. I very much doubt it, but, yeah. Um, so, guys, this movie is very, very good is a good, enjoyable film. Um, do go see it if it's at your cinema. And stay tuned for another movie review. Bye. Oh, and if you have not checked out my Marvel Cinematic reviews, um, please click here for the introduction for that review. And do stay tuned for my Iron Man review. So, yes. Bye.